guys i'm finally live again for the second time Whew. i'm so excited and i know this was really random and that's because one today we're going to be having a guest on today's live and two i wasn't really sure if i wanted to do a live or if i just wanted to do like a regular google meet skype type of um how do i say this type of meeting with my guest but we just decided to do a live last minute so i'm so sorry about that but i'm going to be putting you guys on notice the next time i do this because i really want to do more lives this year i feel like it's 2021 and after last year and after everything that happened last year i've just told myself you know what I'm going to be going for it. I'm going to be doing exactly what I set out to do because things are so unpredictable. You never know how things are going to go. So I just said I'm going to do this and yeah, I'm excited. So please let me know what you guys think. And I'm just going to wait for Instagram to let you guys join in. Hey, so come through i really want you guys to be present for today's live because you're going to learn a lot i'm going to learn a lot and it's basically about an inner glow type of video so if you're new to my platform my inner glow series is all about like personal development personal um growth just all about improving yourself from the inside out and that's why it's called the inner glow series and i've actually started having guests on here because i feel like as much as you guys can learn from me you can also learn from someone else so we're going to be having a special guest today but in the meantime you know i'd love to know how you guys are doing how is january 2021 going for you guys do you feel like things are better than last year was in the middle so i definitely love to know how you guys are doing hey joan thank you so much for joining in fact i'm so happy you're on here today because i feel like you definitely share a lot with us on this live and for those of you guys who follow me on youtube I'm so sorry i know i've been mia but i had mentioned on my stories i think last week that my camera got spoiled conveniently but i'm so happy that it's now being fixed and yeah i just can't wait to be back creating content interacting with you guys because i have been feeling a bit demotivated because i'm not really doing what lights my heart on fire but soon i believe next week because my camera is already being fixed i'll be back with you guys and we can finally get back with the program so we, ha we have a special guest today like i told you guys and i'm just going to let her join in and then i'm going to introduce her hey <laughs> Just like trying to be all organized and, and stuff. I know, this is I my know the pressure. I was also like looking at my background. I was like, "Gosh, is everything okay?" <laughs> I know, right? But I think I like how this looks. I think I like how it looks. <laughs> yeah, you look good. You hello. look good. Welcome. <laughs> so, hello. Is my phone clear? Should I clean it? Lord have mercy. <laughs> No, I can see you very well. Can you guys Okay, let me I just clean it for a quick second just to make sure that our audience can really see me. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think you're good. <laughs> so, so, thank you for having me. I'd introduce you to our amazing guest today who is Skin by IJ aka Ijoma Lions. Please tell me if I've pronounced your name right because <laughs> yeah, you have. You have pronounced have. it right. Okay, yes. Right. I, 
right? So she is a professional makeup artist and she's also a skincare enthusiast and educator. Her content is amazing. She's active on both Instagram and YouTube and also offline as well. She's busy constantly researching on skincare and skincare products, the skincare industry itself. And also she's known for beating faces, especially our fellow dark skin queens. She actually calls herself the dark skin connoisseur. I'm just like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my favorite titles of yours please patent that oh thank you in fact you've reminded me so much you know it's so easy to forget your own hype until you hear somebody else talk about you oh yeah yeah so like i said she's a skincare enthusiast and a makeup artist a professional makeup artist and she's also the author of two skincare books so the finer details which is her first book and also a solid 50 which is her second book so she's also an author as well and something else many of you don't know especially those of you who follow her or maybe you do she's also a foodie like a major foodie <laughs> If you yeah. want to have conversations about food, she's the person to go to. So I'm just looking at, through your comments. Martha says, looking beautiful, ladies. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Joanne, a.k.a. The Purpose Cultivator, says she's back, Maya. Oh, yes. So I think she came back and, yeah, she's back. And Joanne is also saying... Um, wow love that intro the dark-skinned connoisseur i know like that's such an amazing name thank you so i wanted to get started on this live and for those of you who joined later today we're talking about following your dreams and pursuing your passions so this is a part of my inner glow series where we talk about ways we can improve ourselves from the inside and today we're going to be talking to ij about her purpose, her passion to follow her dreams, to pursue what really sets her heart on fire. So we're just going to learn a bit about her and she's going to share a bit about her journey as well. So the first thing we definitely want to hear is a bit of a background about you, IJ, and yeah, how you discovered your love for beauty. Mm -hmm. I discovered my love for beauty um when i guess in my teenagehood you know um i discovered yeah this 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 is this is interesting this is fun but it looked tedious <laughs> <laughs> it just looked like so much work and yeah for a while i stepped back and then i got back into it as i i think i needed to grow into a woman you know that responsibility that you have as a grown person i needed to mm -hmm. grow into that so that i could truly understand what it was all about for me and of course start earning your own money so you can buy your own goddamn lipstick yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> so um I also found makeup artistry as an outlet i had just finished university and things were just not making sense mm -hmm. and i just found myself there and it just grew organically i didn't like wake up one morning and say i want to be a makeup artist it just grew organically so my journey has been a very organic one that's that's what i can really say it's not something i've been dreaming about since i was a baby it just happened it just happened yeah so it's more of you just following your inner voice and every yes. time that inner voice says let's try this this looks interesting hmm you just followed that exactly it was just it's it was just a flow you know um it just I don't know it just got my mind ticking you know when you start doing something as a hobby and then you find yourself in deep end Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you don't know how you got there like for real your spirit is telling you you kind of have a talent for this if you don't even know how you got to deep end and you're still swimming yeah you kind of know what you're doing so that that's how i feel about my career in beauty mm -hmm. if i would say so yeah okay mm -hmm. interesting 
And was there a specific moment, like you just sat down and you were like, you know what, I'm going to pursue this. I'm going to pursue makeup artistry. I'm going to dive deep into learning all about skincare. Or was it also something that was gradual? I feel like it was something gradual because one thing about me is I don't like to put myself in a box. If I put myself in a box, I get stifled. So this is not the only thing I'm going to do with my life. I know that. I am too multifaceted to say that I'm only going to have a career in beauty. And I don't say that from arrogance. I say that from an acceptance of who I am. So... I always paint a face. What I've told myself is the day I will I will retire from painting faces is when I paint the face of a first lady. I'll be done. Oh. <laughs> I'll be done. I'll pack up. I'll only be a teacher. I'll be done. I'll be done. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, wow. Talk about aiming high. And I love that because... Why not? Why shouldn't we aim high? You know, why shouldn't exactly. we go for what we want relentlessly? And I also like that you're not putting yourself in a box. You've mm -hmm. not used skincare and makeup artistry to define yourself. You've just said, these are things I'm passionate about and that I'm pursuing and that I'm opening myself up to pursue other things as well. Absolutely. Mm. Awesome. So what were some of the challenges you faced in pursuing your dreams and living out your passions? What are some roadblocks that really pushed you back and some that also broke you and you are just like, I'm done doing this. I can't do this anymore before you actually stood up and said, let me give it another try. Um, roadblocks. Oh, of course, um, a bit of backlash from my mom. She didn't understand. I just finished uni. I have a master's. So she was like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? So okay. my mom was disappointed. We are all African babies. We get where they're coming from. But I say, I think it's important when we hear that story that we remember our parents were doing what they did with the toolbox they have. They didn't decide they were going to, oh, I'm going to squash my baby's dreams. That is my, my life goal. No, they just, they just it, it doesn't make sense to them because they never saw that. You know, it's like telling them today the sky is green. It's green outside, but they've been seeing it is blue. And you, you've come here with the story of it's green. So that was not easy. And to even get to that point of forgiving my mother for all the... The, the anger and the huge energy she threw at me. That was part of me flourishing and saying, you know what, well, I'm, I'm really going to step into this. Trust and believe. Um, another obstacle I would say was myself. You know, when you don't believe in yourself, like really believe in yourself, when you're still there waiting for people's validation, you're waiting for people to say, oh my God, you're so bomb yeah oh my god you're so bomb oh my god i support you waiting for support from people you think are supposed to be supporting you i was my own roadblock i was my energies were not focused enough into myself into my path but once again it's it's not a linear journey i think especially as a creative you have to go through these milima namabonde so that you can really finesse the creativity that is within you and know how to tap into them. So yeah, yeah. the African mother and myself. <laughs> those, are, <laughs> those are my blockages, definitely. Yeah. Amazing. And, you know, thank you so much for being open and just sharing those struggles because it actually reminded me of something similar that I went through. You know how we talk about validation and getting validation from other people. And after mm. I finished high school, so you know that little period between finishing high school and joining uni, it's about six months. So I decided to study beauty. Everyone was doing French and computers. First of all, I did French in my first year of high school. I was like, no. <laughs> 
and then I had done computers all the way through to form four. So there was nothing new I'd learn, especially from these basic packages that were being offered. I already knew that content, but I really had this passion to study beauty. And so I enrolled at a beauty school in Nairobi, Ashley's in town. And then one day on my way to class, I meet a classmate from primary school. And then, you know, we say hi, a little catch up. And then I tell her, oh, I'm here at Ashley's. Um, you know, studying beauty and stuff. And she was so shocked and the, the disgusted kind of shocked. <laughs> and she's like, really? I expected so much more from you. And I was just there on Kimathi Street, like, <laughs> what? The audacity. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> but then, you know, over time I've come to learn that I need to one self validate and that's something you've always shared with me to keep doing to keep self validating and three to heal from those statements or those situations to not let them be final roadblocks that completely stop me from where i want to go absolutely talking to self mm. is it's the game changer the game changer it's so i'm just looking at some of the comments and some of you are saying um, yes to not stifling self. Being you, doing you, boo. That's from the Purpose Cultivator. Thank you so oh, much for sharing. And just Monversation is also co-signing. She's like, so true. The Purpose Cultivator says, forgiveness helps us flourish. You can say that again, my lady. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And she also says, be your own cheerleader and validate self first. Listen, I have a whole squad in my head. <laughs> <laughs> a whole squad <laughs> in my head. And she also says, Milima Namabonde, that's part of the process. The ups mm. and downs. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Actually, that's all I wanted to ask you. But, you know, feel free to share a bit more of your journey in case you want to share that with others. And also for those of you guys watching, if you have any questions that you want to, you know, ask IJ and find out about her journey or following her dreams as a makeup artist and skincare educator, please feel free to share your comments and just share with us as well what are some of the challenges you guys have faced in doing what you want to do? What are some of the things that have really shaken you? And also, what are some of the things that have inspired you? Is it people? Is it things? Yeah, so feel free to share with us. Um, as we wait for some questions, um, mm -hmm. let's talk about something that I'm doing right now. It's called a grati I'm doing a gratitude practice. Every day oh. I pick, every day I pick a random word from mm -hmm. the universe, from a dictionary, from a book. And then I ask um, divine God, spirit, whatever you want to call it, baby. And I ask divine to give me the gratitude message of the day. And today my word is celebration. You know, mm -hmm. what, what should I be grateful for so that I can celebrate, you know, yeah. and, um, it's there's a lot to be grateful for um this is going to sound very strange and controversial i'm grateful for my privilege mm -hmm. we're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse and i'm married and i don't work and my husband looks after me okay i work i'm a housewife that's work people <laughs> that's <laughs> work <laughs> That is that work. work. Okay. Physical, emotional, mental, it's work. <laughs> Thank you. And no state pension, please. <laughs> no NSF. Exactly. No NSF. <laughs> no nothing. <laughs> so, you know, um, I acknowledge and I celebrate my privilege. Like, a lot of people have lost their homes, they've lost their lives, they've lost their livelihoods. 
they have lost their marriages you know it's it's not been an easy last 18 months and we're still going through it and i'm grateful to have such a supportive bubble i can create content i can mind my business i can still buy exactly what i was buying two years ago because my husband supports me and th that's that's privilege and i'm grateful for it and i'm humbled by it so yeah a gratitude practice it it really puts things in perspective it really does that's true and i totally agree with what you said um when you actually sit down and think of the things you have and think of the things you might not have had but you do have as well it really puts things into perspective and as much as it's okay to want more it's okay to desire more things in your life different circumstances um there's something about just taking a moment and just being like you know what i'm grateful for what i have right now and it's okay like let me just share with you a few weeks back i was thinking about so there's this beauty product that i've been dying to buy and i think i just allowed my mind to go into a state of unnecessary <laughs> unnecessary drama if i can call it and make it such a big deal that i don't have this beauty product atona you guys atona and <laughs> It's not that there's anything wrong with me wanting it but then at some point I just sat down and I was like okay is the world ending because I don't have this toner no no <laughs> is it you know has some random sosara looked into my future and said you will never have this toner no so you know what it's all is good it's okay and just see what you have like you said having a place to sleep not having to worry about your next meal um even having privileges like the internet you know beauty products all these things it really puts so much into perspective okay, so yeah guys so... that do your gratitude list have a little book where you write it down sometimes or even some days i go through you know the things i used to write some years back in my little gratitude book and when i look back i'm still like even now i'm still grateful for those things so yeah absolutely yeah. i think i've seen a question mm -hmm. let me see it how have you overcome the imposter syndrome that is if you have experienced it mm. oh okay two things about imposter syndrome number one the spirit of perfection has a hold on you oh yes the imposter syndrome starts telling you that you ain't worth shit because you don't like what you're seeing in your life you don't like what you're creating it's it's perfect that's the spirit of perfection you've decided you've set this impossible not impossible you set yourself such a huge bar of standard that when you don't achieve it you punish yourself instead of reminding yourself this is a process i'm going to get there instead of asking yourself hang on wait, maybe this is the way it's supposed to be maybe this is the way this thing is supposed to look why why do i have to continue pushing the envelope you know we we live in such a energy driven society if you're not constantly producing work you are not worthy if you're not constantly producing content you are not constantly making money you're not constantly serving we're constantly constantly cuz can i say constantly yeah, now exactly you know mm -hmm. and one thing that drives that is the spirit of perfection you have to ask yourself when is enough enough Well, how do i learn to sit between the balance of beautiful and ugly when do i learn to sit in the balance between rest and productivity when is my enough enough you know that i feel imposter syndrome really sits there when you you're in so much doubt of what you do because you want it to be perfect and perfect for who and for what and what does perfect really mean you know imposter syndrome is 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 a very funny word that came up 
in in the last decade i would say but for for valid reasons we live in such a highly paced hamster society that can make you feel crazy and social media makes it even more crazier another thing i would say about imposter syndrome is you just don't, you don't believe in yourself there are people out here who are doing what you're supposed to be doing with less of the wisdom that you have but because they are gassing themselves because they have chest as they say because they have a lot of chest they are doing what you do they're doing what you're supposed to be doing they're getting paid the coin you're supposed to be paid and they have half your wisdom they have half your wisdom but because you don't believe in yourself because you've told yourself you're an imposter because you've told yourself i must have stacks or or of mm. wisdom i must have stacks of expertise i must be validated by other people other people must call me an expert before i show up call yourself the expert baby and show up what's the worst that could happen what they going to do <laughs> what they going to do you know you <laughs> We're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse people i cannot stress this enough love yourself have chest step into it every day every day pole pole to mind your business and love on yourself radically to the point that other people's opinions really really don't matter and i didn't get where i am overnight and i'm still a work in progress cuz your kazi ishi that work never ends yeah. but love on yourself and see see how crazy things get see how delicious things get see the chest yes. <laughs> one of my new favorite words <laughs> <laughs> so i hear some lady say some church lady say thorax <laughs> i know the thorax let me tell you <laughs> So just imposter syndrome is valid I'm not invalidating the experience of it but it's 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 here and it's in your heart space both of those places you have to do the work you have to be able to step back especially as a creative you have to do the inner work you know and you have to have a lot of chest a lot of love for yourself and stop waiting for people to tell you you're amazing tell yourself tell yourself you're amazing mm you're amazing too thank you thank you and i know i'm reading the comments just in case we miss something so um, jo This was great. Got a run in a few. Keep up the good work you two. Thank you so much for joining us. We Thank also you. have Joan said I can mind my business. That's my privilege for sure. Ooh, okay. Thank we you. love it. Monversation says there's no shame in acknowledging your blessings. Yes. Mm. And then Joan also co-signs what she said. Um when is my enough enough? Basically yeah and then yeah just monversation said who going to check you boo <laughs> exactly who who's going to step okay step yeah. okay well, what do you have to say please <laughs> what are they going to do <laughs> i'm here <laughs> you know we um i think another thing we forget is how special we all are Yeah. You know nobody is a mistake. We are all here for a reason. Everything that you dream, that you believe, that you think is valid, it has a root in something. It's either going to offer you medicine or it's going to offer you inspiration. You know, we are all special. Don't ever sit down and think you ain't worth nothing. You're worth so much and that's why you're here. You're a part of the puzzle. We all are a part of the puzzle, you know? Yeah. Wow, amazing. Oh, I feel like you've just shared us with so much wisdom like <laughs> <laughs> We'll need some time to dry off because wow, thank you so much. Thank for just for having me with you affirming us and reaffirming us again 
and just confirming those things that we know but we don't really practice those things that we're aware of but sometimes we sweep them under the rug because it's more comfortable to sit in that dark corner so yeah mm. thank you so much for sharing that with us and the final thing is for you to just share with us what keeps you going and feeling inspired what keeps me going and feeling inspired Oh, many things, but let's narrow it down. Um, my future children, I do this for them. I'm making space for them. Uh, I want them to be proud of their mama. Um, I do this also for myself. You know, when you live your best life, you know, people say that sentence very lightly. <laughs> do people know the price? it takes to live your best life <laughs> the price is high you know and that's what keeps me inspired like when i say i want to live my best life i really mean it like i really 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 mean it and i'm here life is good life is interesting life has ups and downs why not enjoy it? Why not just do what I'm supposed to do? Why not do what just feels good? You know? Mm. That's what keeps me inspired, to be honest. And, and honestly, my mind cannot stop. When you are creative, there's always things to do. Always things Let to do. Let me tell you, <laughs> you can be just waking up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water at 3 a.m. and then an idea comes. Idea. You're like, can I just grab my midnight water? <laughs> In peace, can you just leave me alone? I'm not ready to write that blog post now. <laughs> Hashtag the life of a creative. That's true. Yes, the life of a creative. So I'm just out here living my best life for me, my children. You know, I'm going to be a dope ancestor a hundred years from now. They're going to be talking about me. That's the plan. Yeah. So... <laughs> You know, yeah. minding my yeah. business, living my best life. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. I feel like your outlook is so optimistic and positive. And I feel like with everything that's been happening now, and yes, there's a lot going on, but it just feels so refreshing to hear someone being so optimistic about their own life and their own situation. And honestly, it washes over us as well because we also think about it and are like, you know what? I have something to look forward to. I feel like I have at least one thing I'm grateful for. And why not keep going because of that? Absolutely. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. I'm so glad we got to thank do this. And thank you so me. much for asking yourself for, you know, just coming on here and being present, sharing your wisdom. It's something we all truly appreciate. And I am so grateful for the fact that you could come on here and be open with us. And yeah, just sending out virtual hugs because... Um, you know, I just never take it for granted whenever someone avails themselves in any way. So thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope we can do this again soon. Thank you so much for everyone who joined us. Very kind of you to be here in our little chats. Yes. Grateful. You've made my... And when is today? Friday. You've made my yes. Friday. I feel like I've gone to the nightclub. Oh, you've made my Friday. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. And you guys, please, please, please be sure to check out IJ's platforms. So on Instagram, she's at Skin by IJ. And on YouTube, she's Skin by IJ as well. Please check out her work on Instagram, her reviews. Her reviews are honestly some of the best reviews I've seen on skincare. And also check out her videos. You're in for a very amazing surprise if you go onto her YouTube channel. So please go check out her YouTube channel. Link is in her bio. Yes. And yes. <laughs> Interact with her. Ask her questions. <laughs> and yeah, I just, I just want to see other creatives grow, thrive, and I feel like you're one of the people who's really 
putting out your heart and soul in what you do and like you said you deserve it the chest is there so why not yes man chest <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I'm off to have something to eat. I'm looking forward to doing this again. For sure. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And the last comments are just Martha saying feeling the good vibes. Can't wait for the next episode. So you guys have inspired me to do this again. Thank you. Just Mon Bazeshon says amen and she says she talks about co-creating with the divine. is amazing mm-hmm. so thank you for that and i feel like those are the last comments yeah i think that's all so thank you guys for joining us please feel free to dm me and share with me what you thought i'm definitely going to share this as an igtv as well and also on my youtube channel for those of us who could and join to check it out and yeah interact with us share with us your thoughts and we hope to see you soon <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>